Hi everyone! Hello! I am here in Maktan International Airport in Cebu and today I'm gonna travel from Philippines from Cebu to Amsterdam. Actually, this is not my original flight but I have to rebook my flight due to possible lockdown here in Cebu. Our president of the Philippines already declared officially in March 15 lockdown for Metro Manila for Manila so anytime any moment could be here in Cebu I don't know yet when it's gonna happen but it is possible there's a big possibility for lockdown because all the neighboring provinces here in the Philippines are already locked down due to the hype of coronavirus um, travel back because of the 60th birthday of my mom and I have to surprise my mom uh, would it, was it worth it? Yes, it's very worth it. Will I do it again? I will do it again. But it is smart. No, it's not smart at all to travel, especially in this uh, chaos and the hypes of coronavirus. And what I did is just I am here in a place where there's no much people, no much traveler, just, just to be safe. In a way, there is no safe place here in the Philippines at the moment. Um, we are now in code red and um, we are at the moment we are total of 50 infected people in the Philippines. If, um, 50 patients uh, affected with coronavirus. So everyone is everyone is panicking actually. You cannot buy alcohol uh, anymore especially in the city and um, since yesterday uh, there is, panic buying has already started in the province of Cebu, which is actually did not happen last week. But since yesterday, due to the uh, announcing of lockdown, people are worried and people are scared. So, um, yeah, I already check in and I already check in my luggage and for a few hours, for one hour, I have to fly to Singapore and Singapore to Amsterdam and um, I have a mask I'm gonna wear it later and I have to wear a hoodie and I wear I have my alcohol with me I sh gonna let, show you what I have um, I have uh, antibacterial wipes I have um, disinfectant spray this detail and I have alcohol with me so uh, yeah actually there's no safe place at all but you just have to be careful and be be smart so um, whatever you're gonna do we're, we're, we're not safe but so um, yeah this is how how it is traveling in the middle of uh, yeah in the middle of the coronavirus so actually airport is not also a safe place I did not suggest I will not suggest that you're gonna travel but if it's really important then of course you have to but I think it's wise to stay home and not to do travel at the moment just to be safe okay okay guys I gotta go and um, I see you guys in Holland Connecting flight, please report to the tax ground stop. If you have a Hello everyone, um, it's me again. Uh, yes, I made it in Holland. I just arrived yesterday, yesterday in the afternoon and today I just wake up and I feel a little bit, a little bit okay, uh, but I'm still suffering from jet lag and not able to sleep for two days because the day I left, it was not planned for it was not my plan to come back to Holland right away because I actually have two weeks of vacation spending time with my family. 
but it did not happen because it needs to be rebooked due to a possible lockdown in Cebu. So I made it here finally and um, I'm still sleepy, I'm still tired, very stressed with all of the experience because it was my decision to travel in the middle of this chaos and it, it was not a smart thing to do. But I am, I, I give myself a credit for being brave because it's not easy. What, what happened actually is that that day after my shoot, I went home and then a friend of mine who sent me a text message if I already, I already have the information about the president giving a speech that he's going to lock down the Metro Manila for the domestic flight. And unfortunately, my flight is in Manila. So in the middle of the night, at 2 o'clock in the evening, I have to rebook my ticket as soon as possible. Then I have to wake up at 6 o'clock and get ready, going to my flight, my going from Metro uh, Cebu, from Balamban to Cebu, for my flight to Singapore and to Amsterdam. As you can see at the beginning of my vlog, that I am um, just look like just look like wake up that this I did I, I did get a shower but right away I just put something on and just packed my bag my sister helped me and right away rushed to the airport and it was chaos everyone wants to come back in their country before the lockdown and it was just a matter of time for me and I able to made it even in the stress but you can feel the tensions of the people inside the airplane because you never know who had the symptoms and you will never know who it, it might be any moment that you get infected that's that's how scary it is during during the travel and actually a day after i fly from cebu there are there were a couple in uh, also from Holland. They have a vacation in Palawan. They not able to made it to come back here in Holland because the day right away, Palawan closed the border for all travelers. So they are stuck. They ask help for their family. Also do the same thing. I will ask my my fiance to help me out if I'm if I get stuck because it's not everyone's plan to be lockdown so um yeah that is my vlog and that is my update uh about traveling and yeah i salute those brave travelers who brave enough to travel in the middle of coronavirus and it is very tense anxious scary and it's a mixed emotions of everything so guys i wish you all good health and just be safe and stay home and drink a lot of water and take care of yourself and don't do what i did traveling in the middle of of the chaos if you don't want to get stressed because i am very stressed out and now i have a few days to relax because i'm gonna quarantine myself and i don't want to expose or go anywhere and it's better to be safe than sorry Thank you so much for watching guys and see you next time.